So yesterday I did a video talking about the Phoenix Fall ornament for the Phoenix Protocol and that is possibly the best ornament we've ever gotten in the history of this franchise and today I want to talk about another amazing ornament and that is the one for the Curious of the Falling Star and it's called Comet Stir in Dream. First, let me get to the question that I posed in my thumbnail. Well, honestly, that's not the question. The question isn't if you should buy it. The question is when you should buy this ornament, because on January 25th, this will be available for Bright Dust. But if you can't wait until then, of course, it is in the Eververse store for 600 silver. And honestly, it's worth every penny. Now, with that in mind, I feel like today my job is to get you to spend silver because I really want you guys to get this ornament because I want you guys to vote with your wallet and to show Bungie that this is the right direction for armor in Destiny 2. So with all of that said, drop a like on this video if you end up enjoying my build. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for my build. And go ahead and join up on my Discord server in case you want to show me what you create with this amazing ornament. Now let's get to the fashion. Okay, so here is my Titan, and right off the bat, I'm going to let you know that this is one of the most beautiful exotic ornaments I have ever seen in this game. I know last video I talked about the Phoenix Fall ornament. While I still believe that one is the best, this one is very close. So while it is super beautiful and it takes shaders amazingly, I will say that the armor is a little hard to work with. I believe only a handful of sets really work with it. So uh, keep that in mind whenever you're thinking about purchasing it or not. And whenever I first got it, I did struggle just a little bit. But whenever I started finding my groove, it really just all fell together. So let's talk about what I used. So I already had on the Forian Helm because I had just done the Dares of Eternity dungeon. And I really wanted to make something with this helmet. By the way, I will be doing a review going over all of the marathon armor. So get subscribed for that. So yeah, the Forian Helm is what I decided to start off with. I felt like it really fit with the design that's going on here. And since this is very Dreaming City-esque, that's why I decided to use the Dreaming Spectrum shader. I love this shader. It is possibly my favorite shader in the game. I've done tons of other really great builds with it. If you don't have it, I would recommend doing the Last Wish Raid and grabbing it for yourself. So from there, I started playing around with different arms. I honestly didn't know where to even begin with this. Um, I put on the Nemean Gauntlets at first because I thought it would kind of round out the Curious Ornament a little bit. And while it was working for me, I felt like there was just something better out there. And since I do have access to so many ornaments, I just literally went through every single individual ornament to see what worked and I ended up falling on the Last Wish Raid Gauntlets. So these are called the Gauntlets of the Great Hunt. Again, you get that from doing the Last Wish Raid. And honestly, these gauntlets have been so hard for me to make an armor set with for the past however many years the Last Wish Raid has been out. So I didn't expect to like these gauntlets with this ornament, but hey, it just ended up working so nicely. And then I thought to myself, why don't I also use the Mark of the Great Hunt? Because it does have this giant like beak thing or just like this very pointy shape that very much complements not only the gauntlets themselves because they're part of the same set, but the actual ornament because the ornament also does have that same V pattern. So it just fits perfectly and it really makes this whole entire part right here just look like it came straight from Bungie. Like if I was new to Destiny 2, I would think that this set is just something that Bungie sells in the store. And lastly, I did also try to use different types of legs to work with this. So I knew that this started to look a little bit like a Dreaming City Knight. So I tried the Lucian Knight Greaves to see if those worked out because they also did have a very like pointy design right here in the knee pads. And while it doesn't look bad, I feel like there was still something better out there. So like I said, I kept trying different legs that kind of resemble the night aesthetic. Like for example, the Devastation Complex, the Reverie Dawn, all of that stuff. But I also just finished doing the Grasp of Avarice dungeon and I had these legs laying around. So why not use them? And again, get subscribed because I will be doing a review on all of the Thorn Armor set as well. But yeah, I decided to use it with this because it still had that like really bony look 
that just mixes really well with the dreaming spectrum shader and everything else here and then everything just ended up coming together very nicely i did try some other shaders before i ended up getting to dreaming spectrum one of those shaders that i liked was the shader that i used in the last video which was boreal char and while it did look really good i didn't want to use another black shader because i had just recently done that and i know some of you aren't going to like that i used black twice but I will say black shaders look really good on this. Any white shaders look really good on this. Um, a shader that really tickled my fancy was the Vertrified Chronology. I really like the silver look to it and like the little bit of a brown color right here in the cloth. It just complemented it so well. But I was looking for a little bit more color this time. I also tried out Gunmetal Marigold and one of my mods actually agreed with me here. While it does look really good, I just wish there was a little bit more of this gold shown and maybe some of the armor pieces. So the reason I didn't choose it was just because there was just random gold and red here and it wasn't shown anywhere else in the set. And lastly, while a little bit basic, I did like the way it looked with Cyril's Modular Shine, just like the really clean white and the little bits of red scattered throughout the set looked really freaking nice. So yeah, that's going to be my Titan set. And honestly, I'm probably going to use this every single day or at least every single time I raid or do any PVE activities because it looks so nice. And as you can tell, I even spent some transmog materials transmogging the uh, thorn stuff, the gauntlets, and then the uh, Mark of the Great Hunt just because I liked it so much. Oh, and before anybody asks in the comments, because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about what gear I'm using here in the back. For the sparrow I have on the cleansing knife, it is basically a Dreaming City Sparrow. Uh, for the ghost, I am using the Starlight Shell, same thing, Dreaming City style. And then lastly, I am using the Thorn Ornament. I believe it's called like something of sorrow, Wishes of Sorrow. It gives it that same bony look that matches really well with anything I put Dreaming Spectrum on. Well, that's going to be it for today, everyone. I need to get back on that grind so that way I can get those armor sets to make a review on. But in the meantime, go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you want me to make any other video on any of the new exotic ornaments that we got in the Eververse store. Go ahead and leave me a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you don't want those knees of yours broken into tiny little pieces. And you should definitely click on that link down below to join my Discord server. That way you can show off anything that you've made with the new exotic ornaments. Like for example, the guardians that you've been seeing here in the background. And another big thank you to my Patreon members. I literally could not have made this video without you. Thank you, and I will be seeing the rest of you in tomorrow's video. Click on any of the videos popping up in the end card now. And don't forget, stay beautiful.